NVIDIA just had a record earning sending the stock to a new all time high. So should you buy NVIDIA now? Is NVIDIA a good stock to buy right now? And what is my new updated price target for NVIDIA? Well, let's talk about it. NVIDIA topped estimates and said sales will jump 170% this quarter. This increase was driven mainly by an increase in demand for AI chips. NVIDIA basically has a monopoly on AI chips right now, and I don't think anybody expected NVIDIA earnings to be this good. Earnings came in at $2.70 per share versus $2.09 per share expected. Although you do have to pay attention to the fact that this was an adjusted earnings per share, meaning they just magically excluded some expenses in order to get the earnings per share up a little bit higher. Revenue came in at $13.51 billion versus $11.22 billion expected, a massive earnings beat and revenue beat. Further, NVIDIA says it expects third quarter revenue to come in at around $16 billion. And that would represent about an 18% increase over Q2. In addition, NVIDIA's board of directors authorized a $25 billion share buyback. It has already purchased about $3 billion in shares, leaving about $22 billion still to be purchased. On this news, NVIDIA rose about 8% after hours after already rising another 3% on the day. So an incredible earnings from NVIDIA, but is it a good buy now or should we wait? Well, I went through and looking at what they did for earnings this quarter, considering the fact that those earnings were adjusted, they weren't real. Also taking a look at the fact that NVIDIA is expected to increase both sales and revenue and earnings by about 18% per quarter, not per year, per quarter. Massive, massive increase in annualized sales and revenue. Just unbelievable. And based upon all of that, and giving it a forward P.E. ratio of 20. The forward P.E. ratio already includes their expected forward earnings over the next year. And given all of that, I have come up with a fair price on NVIDIA of around $280 to $300. Now, just because NVIDIA has a fair price of $280 to $300, this is the fundamental value doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna get there. I mean, as of the recording of this video, NVIDIA was trading at $510, or about $210 higher than the fair price on NVIDIA, making NVIDIA stock very, very expensive right now. Now, that said, will it still be a good buy? I mean, NVIDIA is gonna trade at a premium. It's not necessarily gonna trade at fair value, right? Well. I want you to think about it this way. Look at Warren Buffett, probably the most successful investor of all time. Warren Buffett is a multi-billionaire. And how did Warren Buffett get there? Does Warren Buffett invest in these huge mega cap tech stocks? Absolutely, he bought Apple. So when does Warren Buffett actually make his buys? Does he buy after huge earnings beat and a massive rally in the stock? No, not at all. Warren Buffett is extremely patient. Warren Buffett did not become a billionaire by buying stocks that were overpriced. Warren Buffett became a billionaire by buying stocks once they got back down to fair value. Warren Buffett is extremely patient. And what he does is he waits for these overpriced stocks to fall back down to fair value because they always do eventually. Then he buys them. So when it comes to NVIDIA stock, I would not make it a buy right now. I would take Warren Buffett's approach. I would be patient and I would wait for NVIDIA to get down to fair value. Any price under $300 and NVIDIA is a buy. Any price under $300, I would buy NVIDIA stock, but I wouldn't buy it at 500. I would not even buy it at 400 because just like Warren Buffett, I wanna be patient and wait for it get back down to fair value. That's how you make money in the stock market. You don't make money in the stock market by buying a stock that is overpriced out of nothing more than a hope that the stock will continue going up in price. 
You make money in the stock market by eliminating your emotions and focusing on the fundamentals and then buying stocks when they fundamentally get back down to a fair value. Now, if you're struggling with this, you're struggling with emotional trading and FOMO and fear of missing out, and you're just buying stocks because they're running up and you don't even really know why or how much higher they might go, or you don't even know if they're going to fall. If you're really struggling, you're a brand new investor, you need help getting started, make sure you check out the first comment or description of this video. There is a link to a course that can help you out. Now, let's talk about the other earnings that came out today as well. Abercrombie & Fitch shares soared more than 15% as the retailer blows past earnings estimates and even raised their guidance. Earnings came in at $1.10 versus 17 cents expected. You are reading that right. $1.10 versus 17 cents expected. Absolute massive blowout earnings for Abercrombie & Finch. Revenue even came in higher at $935 million versus $842 million expected. Unbelievable beat on earnings. The stock closed the day up over 23%. Now, even though NVIDIA and Abercrombie reported amazing earnings, their stocks rallied, that wasn't necessarily the case for all of the stocks that reported earnings on Wednesday. Foot Locker shares plunged more than 30% as they slashed guidance and blamed consumer softness. Sales were down 9.9% from a year earlier, and the dismal quarter prompted Foot Locker to lower its forecast again just five months after introducing it. The company also paused its quarterly cash dividends. Foot Locker shares were down 28% on the day. And Nike also fell for a record 10th straight day in a row because of Foot Locker's earnings. Just look at this year-to-day chart on Nike. It is an absolute disaster. Peloton shares also dropped 23% after posting a wider than expected loss. Peloton shares were down 22.6% on the day. So what's going on? How is it possible for a company like NVIDIA to report record earnings and the other retail stocks to report horrible earnings? What's going on? Well, what this ultimately boils down to is the fact that technology stocks continue to invest money and continue to invest in AI. And this is not only going to help NVIDIA, it's going to help any company that's currently building out AI, such as Meta, Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, all of them. But on the consumer side, consumers are struggling. High inflation and high interest rates are really putting a damper on consumer spending. Consumers are spending a lot of money on groceries, but they're not spending money on discretionary items. And this is why we have seen stocks like Walmart do so well as grocery sales increase. But we've seen stocks like Foot Locker and Nike and Peloton and others all struggle because consumers aren't spending money on things they don't need. They're focusing all of their money right now on their necessities because they simply cannot afford to buy things that they don't need right now. Consumers are struggling. And this isn't just happening here in the United States. This is a problem worldwide. The worldwide economy is slowing down. And unfortunately, the economic data in Europe just went from bad to worse. European business activity contracted once again during August to its lowest level since November of 2020. I hate to compare any business conditions to the COVID pandemic, but that is where we are at. That's the reality of the economy right now. Considering the PMI inflation figures in our GDP or gross domestic product data, this now leads to the conclusion that the Eurozone will shrink by 0.2% in the third quarter, and that puts Europe in a recession. And with Europe now entering a recession, it won't be long before the U.S. also enters a recession. 
The thing is, consumers worldwide are struggling, and this is going to cause earnings from businesses across the world and in the United States to go down. So we're in a weird situation right now where stock market investors are ultra bullish and they continue to buy stocks, yet the overall economy is going down. Now, we're essentially skating on thin ice here. So you've got to be very, very careful. Yes, play the momentum, play the market psychology, buy stocks, be bullish, but also be cautious because we're skating on thin ice. And at any moment, that ice could break and we could fall through and we could get hurt. So it's okay to be bullish and have fun right now, but also be cautious because if the cracks in the ice get much bigger, it's gonna be a disaster for the stock market. The slowing economy in the US is showing up in mortgage demand as mortgage demand from home buyers drops to a 28 year low as interest rates soar. Eventually this slowdown in the economy will hit the stock market. So just please be careful. Obviously the market is bullish right now. Obviously the market sentiment is bullish. So it's definitely the right thing to do as a trader is to be buying stocks. But as an investor, I would be very cautious because the economy is eventually going to catch up to the stock market and eventually stocks are going to fall. But we just don't know when. A part of the reason why the stock market continues to rally despite the bad fundamentals in the economy is because higher interest rates and inflation have pushed Gen Z investors to trade stocks on emotion. Now, to be fair, this really isn't a problem with Gen Z per se. I don't really like the fact that this article called out Gen Z. The truth of the matter is this is a problem for any new investor. Studies have shown that about 52% of investors trade stocks on emotion rather than on the fundamentals. And this is ultimately what leads to a lot of new investors to lose money, is they're buying stocks for emotional reasons, not for fundamental reasons. And then when the emotions start to go away and the bullishness eventually goes away, the stocks fall and people end up losing money. So if you feel like you're one of those people who trades on emotion, like 52% of all traders do, then I really encourage you to go get some education, get some training, learn how to trade based upon the fundamentals and the technicals and not your emotions. Learn what you need to learn because a lot of people, they want to get started investing. They want to invest in the stock market. They know they should. They know they can make money. They just don't know how. And if you're just sitting there, you want to invest, you're just not really sure how, you haven't gotten started, check out the course in the description or first comment below. It's really going to help you out. It's a beginner course just for you. Now, if you got a lot out of this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And make sure you share this video with your friends and family so that they will know what's going on in the market as well. They can get a little bit better founded on the fundamentals of the market and not just buy stocks because they're going up. Also, if you missed yesterday's video where I went into more detail about the stock market, why we're rising this week and what might happen after this week, make sure you watch the last video that I uploaded here.